Good morning, Sierra Leone. This is another great episode. Whoa, with the try for talk to we mommy, the first lady, her excellency, Miss Fatima Bio. We just the try for reference history, small, for low mommy understand what we expect from her. And we're not kind of for defile, disrespect, abuse, or defame in character. Because we all know what's money. But we all know, say, the position where, where, is, where the Mami Sidong is very important. And all eyes, they para. So, Miss Fatima Bio, with all due respect, I hope this message not be offensive to you. And I hope, say, you're able to listen to this message thoroughly and try to understand what's in this message they about. Now, let me go back into history small about the youngest first lady in the world. What would I ever get? And I believe, say, up to now, when I back in check reference, it still remain the youngest first lady. The woman in name, now Frances Clara Cleveland. This happened at the United States of America. It became the first lady at the age of 21. It married to the president, Groovan Cleveland. Groovan became a president and the woman became a first lady for two terms. From, 1860, from 1886 to 1889. Then again for the second time from 1893 to 1897. Well, I'll talk small of this woman we then call Frances. Why make it so important? And I think saying that an image we need for mimic or follow. Frances is not even done secondary school or high school as we can say per se. What the man face can the preposition to and for married. And not be even go college yet too. He married to Mr. Cleveland at the age of almost 21. Then once he become a first lady, the tablets, the media, people learn where they look for negative sources then for defame the party or the president in image. Now in where first they begin attack. They begin to call her Franklin, the woman named Frances. But they call her Franklin just for annoy the woman. Well, imagine a young woman at that age of 21. If not any young individual like we, they go begin to talk back. The woman became mute. And not say nothing because he not say a man then a very important position and him back gets a role for play in the administration. There was also another incident where they wear some satin clothes there, one a gown, one a short sleeve, it is so small of, you know, a physical. Even the church actually pursued that matter there. To challenge and say, enough for the dress so. Well, the woman not changed the way they dress so. But, and not say nothing, a refrain from any comment. And the media also, Post a news saying that the woman don't refrain from such just for make society happy. Well, doing that thing day, as time they progress and people then begin to see saying a woman way well macho, all man begin like her. They begin to make all kinds of things about them. Even close them, cap them, and face them at every magazine, every poster, name it. Just because he comports himself as a first lady. Any designer will erail, people in the buyer. All the young girls say anything what he do, people and deal with him. Well, he born about five picking for this Mr. Cleveland during the time. And also, what's not the similarity? Her Excellency Mrs. B.O. The similarity with you and that woman there. Eh? The woman also not be an actress. If they act, it involved in the theater club. 
And he also gets a passion for sew, for make designers them. And he also belong na a debating club about political issues. So I believe say, that this is the foundation where he will make it become more mature into imposition. So now, I want to say back one last thing before I go to Mrs. B.O., Her Excellency. This woman, her ancestors, them, not to America, they born. Now, England, they come out. But this woman grew up inside New York, Buffalo, New York. And I can verify back to history. So now we can talk of we first lady. For those who understand who side they try for her to. We first lady again. Please not be insulted or disrespected. I just to go through history. And be firstly married to Mr. Alaji Yane Jama. Yaya Jama, excuse me, Mr. Alaji Yaya Jama. This is the Gambians. The old time war with mommy, but they do things them. Where it be in the UK. They only be they do things them within the UK and the Gambians them. Empowerment's not be in a Salono. You know, be they think of Salono. All your activities then be focused with the Gambians and inside UK. And the Gambian are then your home country. But you know what I mean, say, because you come out Gambia, you're not going to be first lady in a salon. Anybody who creates that judgment, say you're wrong. As long as you get good intention for Mama Salon. Well, you don't act films them. You know, such as, you know, the mirror boy. Now they force people to tag you. After the mirror boy, you do another episode. What they call the face of the Gambians. And this project actually be a project, the face of the Gambians. This project should be the try for empower young girls' education. I believe seeing at the same motive back, you face kind of salon for empower education. You also create a beauty pageant inside Gambia for empower the young girls them. But through so many interviews, then what they may they ask you, what they may they do with you, they ask you, they say, well. The time where you go return back to Africa, now whose country you go and go settle? We mommy, her excellency, Miss B.O. say, you go and go settle back to Gambia, or you go to Lagos? Well, what a man not to you, they plan something. Man plan, God, God dispose, because God gets your own planning. So for make talk short, I believe say, maybe you and we pop in a power. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Excellency again, Julius Madabio. Something tell me say maybe we be done meet before 2013. But in within 2013, the power visits he gonna UK for go show support to the first lady right now what we get in premiere of a latest movie. And now then be there and to hand. So I believe saying that it's in sweet state in, you know, extent. So what's that idea right now? And me are glad if I But for come back to the point, we don't elaborate small of Mrs. Francis. So now I the try for fix this issue now. So we all mommy, Miss Fatima Bio. We did a power. People then get high expectation from you. And this report store meets me again. What do they do now? Social media it they affect we country because we country get so many issues now where they take place at this moment. Jobs and all day, educational problem, the livelihood of people in you know, hundred percent struggle. It still take place now with country, and in within this West African coast, we can say with the last competitively. People and they suffer. So if people and they suffer, then they say we first lady, just they pa dance dance, they look all happy, and then they focus on issues and way for tackle for make sure say society vibrant. People and go more put smart by you talk. So again, would they beg you for let you refrain from their activities there? 
We know say you not be actress. You didn't into the entertainment business. We're not gonna take that away from you. Yes, you get your personal life. But all man know say when you become a first lady, your life not become personal again. Even the small, small celebrities in the way they come up. What you don't gain at the public eyes, you eye, you life not become personal again. It become public. Any two become public, not just for salon, not for the international communities. How they will create judgment, their objectives. Because I believe, say, right now, you they do things in a subjective manner. And again, my own opinion is subjective to me alone. Would I believe what you say? Well, I believe, say, maybe not the truth. But all man gets in your own rights for getting your opinion based on what he they think. So, Miss Fatima Bio, we now make this long. We need to say anything arrogantly for disrespect you because you're now a first lady. Now you go down put before we, where it can pass security, now you will depend pa. And your husband. Where it can to well-being, now you will depend pa. And your husband. Where it can to the welfare of society, now you will depend pa. And your husband. So with all in consideration there, with a big idea, maybe you don't need for stop 100%, but minimize the tone. The one day where they create this influence, and in the type of well, you image or the party in image. You get work for do for Mama Salon, even though you intention earlier, not to focus on Don Salon. You not be doing anything in the past where reflect to Sierra Leone. But now you got Duncan put before we as we first lady. So we expect great things then from you. Lord, we minimize what in the social media they say. And we look up to you for the betterment of Sierra Leone. May God bless you. May God bless your husband. And we look forward to you. Thank you.